Hello, welcome to Hull KR TV. The Robins are back on Betfred Super League duty against a familiar face. The Lee Leopards are in town. The kickoff is long. It's caught by the Robins, and the first charge out is George Kings. Driven back a metre or two by the Leopards defenders. Spun long to, to Minicella. Oh, he's running well. His Minicella is offloaded into no man's land, though. It's picked up, and eventually it's Schneider who collects, and I Pape put him in an awkward position. Beyond the horizontal, the referees don't like it. Support, supporters don't like it. Should make it 2 0 to the Robins. It's only just to the right hand side, around 14 metres out. Just over six minutes gone. The Robins lead by two points to nil. Could have been a penalty, but the officials let that one go. George King invited to set up the position once again. Tackle five, though, so Rovers may have to employ a kick option. Here is Schneider. They're running it. They're running it. Oh, go on in. Try for the Robins. Sean Kenny Dowell with the try for the Robins. A well worked move on tackle five. And Rovers extend the lead to six points to nil. There was going to be no stopping Sean Kenny Dowell once he took possession. The lead defence was going one way, the skipper went the other. On the lead, Leopards here, they're close, they're in the 10. Schneider. Rovers come forward with Batchelor, just three, four metres short before the tackle of Mulhern is made. Crash ball! Minchella! We're going try on the field, I'm not sure why he's checking it. Is it the ground in? Nothing wrong with that. The ball's down, that's a try. Chris Kendall will surely award this in favour of the Robins, which he does. Parcel runs into the play the ball of Opacek. Minchella spreads it. Schneider lurks out wide. Here's Mikey Lewis. Needs to come away from the touchline. Oh, what a ball! What a ball! He sent Ryan Hall in, in the corner. Jack Smith wants to check it, but he's gone try on the field. So for the second time, Chris Kendall is being asked to make a decision but this looks good to me Magic Mikey the provider and the ace marksman on the wing Ryan Hall looks as though he managed to stay in the field of play they've gone all the way to the ground in so that's an indicator that this will be given Ryan Hall is chasing down Danny Maguire's try scoring record and there's another one to the total Rovers lead 18-0 Hadley directs goes into the lead 20 it's again in a central position Parcel can go left or right. He comes to the right edge. Minchella to Schneider. The ball is floated out wide. 
It's seen here in the corner. They'll have to check it. Did he keep his feet in the field of play? It looks as though he slid and tucked his feet in. The try has been given on the field. And well, I think the officials sensibly just want to check. But I think this is a good try again. Very tight, very, very tight. The lead players think this is going to be chopped off. Chris Kendall. <laughs> has given the try for Hulkingston Rovers. And on the back of Ryan Hall's offload, the Robins find another 10 metres. Schneider wants a runner. Oh, there's a gap for Bachelor. Bachelor, can he get the pass away? The answer is no. Rovers are on the last. They're inside the lead 20 just. Walker pushes it to Schneider. Schneider with the kick ahead. Lee will have to play it out. And Rovers get the repeat set. 35 minutes gone. 22 nil, and Rovers are just executing, playing the sets, but the most important thing has been the defence, and Lee have not found 10 metres. The penalty is duly converted by Schneider. Two and a half minutes of this first half remain. Lewis again with lots of hang. That allows the chase to get there and put pressure on Tom Briscoe. And Mikey Lewis. Oh, Magic Mikey! Dives over in the left-hand corner. We'll go to the video ref, Chris Kendall again. He's given a try on the field. And if there's no infringement from the Robins, they are in again. How many times will Chris Kendall need to look? It's been given as a try on the field, which works in Rovers' favour. I think that will be rewarded. The smiling Mikey Lewis will be given the try. And the Rovers fans are on their feet again. Tackle. Bit of a scrappy play. The ball lambs. Lost it. Rovers will get that. 10 metre line. Parcel, will he scoot? No, he's pushed it to Minchella. Minchella taking them on. Minchella flicks the ball out the back door. Mikey Lewis beats Hardacre again. Steps. Oh, Magic Mikey at the double for Rovers. They can't handle this guy. They cannot handle Mikey Lewis this evening. The mistake from Lachlan Lamb gifting Rovers good possession and field position. They built the set and Mikey Lewis finishes it off. Big shot there, the skipper. Short ball to Lynette, not given any room in which to manoeuvre. Yet to see the introduction of Jez Litton as well in this game. Kennedy just had to stop his momentum as he got that, but it's good offload to Minchella. Rovers keep it alive. Eventually it's picked up, knocked on by who? 
Lee. Lee get the scrum. Bit scrappy that from Rovers. I Pape to a moan. Strong runner, but well dealt with. Lee running out of tackles in this set. They've gone left edge. Lamb, will he kick? No, he's flicked one over the top. And they'll scrape it in the left hand corner, will the Leopards? Josh Charnley is the scorer. And after all them penalties going Lee's way, I suppose a try was coming. 55 minutes played, 36 4 to the Robins. Litton spins it to Minchella. He in turn spins it to Schneider. Ryan Hall! Not to be denied, the big wingman. That's his second. The Robins hit 40. Not sure why it's being looked at. Dummy runners, perhaps. Possibly ground in, but Ryan Hall shrugged off Hardacre and gets the ball down. Easy decision this one for Chris Kendall. Try awarded to Ryan Hall. And it's 40 points to four to Hulkingston Rovers. And well, Leah trying to rough him up again as Litton pushes it flat. Good ball! Jez Litton floats one to Kenny Dowell. Ryan Hall! Ryan Hall! Oh! Kaylin it's going in! Ryan Hall, the provider this time. Lee's defence absolutely cuts the ribbons and Kane Lynette finishes off the move to make it I'll tell you what, there's a beautiful ball from Rhys Kennedy in that move. Ryan Hall knew he couldn't get to the line, but he knew he had his trusty second rower in support. Lee scrambled, but they couldn't do enough. Lynette dives over the line. ball is played, Litton switches the direction of the attack, oh Batchelor's offloaded and Jez Litton's going in underneath the H's the Robins hit 50 they have demolished the Lee Leopards absolutely demolished them
if people thought Rovers were out of this playoff shake-up. How many tackles have gone in this set? There must be a couple remaining. Short ball from Ipape, big gap. Have Rovers done enough to hold him up? Oh, I think they're going to give this. What's the decision on the field? Oh, he's gone try as Kendall. I think it just scraped the floor. It will be mere consolation for a well-beaten Lee Leopards. But I think the key factor here will be that Jack Smith sent it up as a try. Chris Kendall, for me, will have to follow Jack Smith's lead. Yeah. The try is given. It's 52-8. A great win for Rovers. A great, great win for Rovers. That firmly maintains the playoff challenge. 52 points to 10. A comprehensive display of robust, solid defence. Great opportunism and some great displays. Lewis takes the man of the match, but Sean Kenny Dowell, Ryan Hall, Elliot Minchella, all contenders, but a great team display and a great two points. We march on. We defeat the Lee Leopards by 52 points to 10.